Let's paint a grey crowned crane. The grey crowned crane was the second animal I painted in my personal project from this time last year. Though, to be completely honest, I wasn't entirely certain what animal I wanted to paint early on. You see, I was also considering painting a pygmy three-toed sloth. So, I sketched them both, and then I got some feedback, both from my Patreon supporters and my Instagram followers. One of the reasons why I personally leaned towards the grey crowned crane was because I hadn't painted one before, but also because I wanted to have a broader span of the type of animals I was painting during the project. Do I use references when I paint? Yes I do, and I often use a lot of different references as well. Sometimes I use one reference image that's just for the pose, and I use other references to get specific details right, such as the markings or the colours. Of course, this all varies depending on what I'm painting. For portraits of specific people or pets, I might lean to using just one reference, but for animals and scenery I prefer to have a few reference images to look at. As always, if you have any questions about my process, let me know in the comment section. I actually decided to revisit this project a year later, however for this newer version of the project I ended up changing out some of the animals. And sadly, this beautiful big bird was one of the animals that didn't make the cut, and was replaced with another animal that's considered to be more endangered. So, if you're interested in seeing how this project has changed, then make sure to check out my Instagram account, or consider supporting me on Patreon, where you'll get early access and behind the scenes info about this project and future projects. Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel, and for more of my work, check out my social media accounts or my website.